say. Yesterday, yesterday we struck over the small wheels. Today I put the big wheels on and it, it, it works like a charm. It's so light to push, easy. You know, you can't beat the uh, bigger wheels. That's really nice. you the video of my dolly and uh, I showed you how it didn't work with the small wheels and then I showed you how it works beautiful with these long wheels here with, with its uh, 14 inch or 16 inch wheels and uh, and it turns beautifully because these uh, wheels have a bearing inside them so they are very good so if you want to know how it's done I'm going to show you a few details and, uh, and uh, what materials to choose and how to do it. Before you get into this project and you want to build it, you gotta remember one thing. This is not a trailer, okay? This is just a dolly to get you uh, to the water because sometimes you have these posts and blockage that you cannot uh, back up your trailer to the water. So, so you don't need any sophisticated bearings or nothing, just a couple straps to tie it under the boat and it's easy to push with the hand. So it works beautifully. So anyway, uh, let's talk about the materials here. First of all, the shaft is only four feet and four feet comes from, say, over here to about there. Yet, that's 48 inches, yet the beam on my boat is 58 inches, but this is pretty long already, so I'll show you and explain why. You have to measure your boat the same way I do and, and determine what kind of a shaft you want to put underneath it. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so, so you go to your boat, you measure the widest point. Uh, mine is 54 inches wide. It's a 12 foot aluminum, so uh, start working from here. So the best thing to do is to look under your boat and see what your other supports are like. Uh, mine are 30, 30 inches apart here. Eh? I made a trailer with 2x4s and carpet on top of it and it's the best thing. Then you measure the middle fin here and see how far down it sticks out because the, sometimes the boats are on angle a little bit. So you gotta allow that on your shaft there. So. I gotta say roughly two inches on the middle, so it's not too bad. It's pretty flat boat, that's why it goes so good. So when you're gonna build your dolly, you gotta make sure you design it pretty well the same way. So before before you come to the wheels and uh, worry how to attach the wheels, let's build the supports first. For that you need a 2x6, 2x4 or 2x8. You can uh, have a little bit of a meat on the bottom so it doesn't break on you. My blocks are 16 inches, so if we measure 16 inches roughly, 8 inches the center, and drill a hole, we, we need an inch of meat on the bottom, so we, we're gonna drill the center of the hole inch and three quarters. Then we draw the lines here this way. And we cut out the block, we make another one the same way, and we shove them on the shaft, right? Then we measure our shaft, like uh, the shaft on my trailer, as you saw, was 30 inches apart, so I did the same thing here, about 30 inches apart. Put a couple new clamps on it to secure it so it stays in place. A couple uh, plywood strips on each side, and it makes it nice and sturdy. Then we're gonna worry about the wheels later. Right now, let's build the base. So, as you can see, I put a piece of pipe insulation on the middle just for current purpose. Or if the middle rib would rub on it, then it wouldn't damage anything. And 
there's the clamps right uh, right beside the block. I put the big washers behind them, you see, so that way it holds everything into place nicely and it's not going to slide on me, right? So you can, you can really tighten them up good and uh, basically what you want is make sure that the rack stays in the middle of the whole design here. So I think you get the idea what it looks like here. I'm going to turn it over just to show you the other side here. Uh, because my blocks were a little bit too short, I would say about 16 inches, and sometimes they spin right around. I put a stopper on here, which is just a, any kind of, a, of a metal strip here, just to keep it <coughs> the right way up. So, but it's pretty simple anyway. A couple strips and it'll stiffen up the whole design and it's very nice and easy to carry. Well, I'll walk to the store here and show you what kind of a plugs and, and ends I use for the pipe here and how you can manage to put different size of wheels on, right? It depends uh, what the shaft is like. You can also put some insert inside the wheel if it's a little bit bigger and it does there's not much friction because you're going to be pushing it by hand so it's really easy to attach any kind of a wheel to it so and th uh, this wheels are from the trike that i show you at the beginning of the video and uh, it's nice because they are bearing loaded and uh, they just go so easy all you need is uh, one little push with your finger and it spins forever so anyway, these wheels are pretty good. I think if you go to the flea market or garage sale and buy a used kid's bike or, or baby car, it's something, you know, that's half destroyed or half used, you can get it for a really cheap price. So I paid $10 for mine and I still got one wheel to sp as a spare one. So that's very really nice. That was a good deal, I think. Well, I'm in the plumber section here and you can see that there's all kinds of pipe ends, plugs, and you can purchase some extenders. You can select your pipe. You can select one inch pipe for a 12 foot aluminum boat, or you can select thicker pipe if your boat is heavy. So let's see what we need. <coughs> well, I've got a short piece of pipe here. This is only two foot, but I used four foot which is plenty strong for my 12 foot aluminum and you can put this end plug on it to tighten it later and pre-drill the hole to match the diameter of this bolt make sure you put some kind of a nice nut on the end so it fits in snugly and now you can decide how thick is your wheel put a washer in here and you can drill a hole right through here to secure it, that way it makes it sort of nice and solid. Especially with the cap on it like that, that'll hold it tight and nicely in place, yeah. It looks beautiful already. So all you need is 4 foot pipe, 1 inch gas pipe. If your boat is heavier and if you want to make it wider than 4 feet, that would probably go a little bit thicker diameter. But for most of the aluminum boats, this is plenty, I think. There's also another plug that's pre-drilled here that you could probably screw 5 8 thread in here and put a wheel on it and a cap on it from the outside. So there's many ways to do it. I guess these small wheels didn't work that good like I showed you in the original video and uh, there's the real bolt assembly but uh, maybe the 10 inch would work but I would still like to see bigger wheels on it and besides that these guys are too expensive $14 a piece I think you can buy the whole bike on, or, or I think you can buy the whole bike at the flea market for $10 and use the 16 inch wheels which would be better. 
of course, nice option would be the wheelbarrow wheel, but uh, I think it's pretty expensive. But we, it would probably ride on, on rocks and grass very nicely though, but not sure if we can get it for a good price. Okay, here we go. There's a one inch clamp for you that works just fine. And keeps the 2x6 from sliding. All you need is two on the inside. Then I also purchased a couple of eye brackets, which is very nice because they are just about the right size what you need when you shove them into the R locks and that way it doesn't uh, it doesn't slip on you you can put the strap right in and, and tie the dolly right uh, on it and it's pretty tight then you purchase this uh, cheap uh, strap with a beautiful ratchet on it and uh, it's got a one inch hook on it that fits right on so if you just throw it on the shaft like that anywhere on the outside of the boat you tighten up the ratchet and makes the whole unit solid so you can push it and turn it any way you want to and it, the boat doesn't slip off so which is really nice too see when you're gonna use the unit this little strip here makes it nice because then then the whole unit doesn't spin around and sits ready to put the boat on it, you know. Sometimes it's easier to lift up the trailer a little bit from the ball behind your car. And that makes it a lot easier to slide it on this uh, little dolly. So it works beautiful. All you have to do is uh, put the straps on it and you're ready to go. Well, and last few tips before you Head on the water, make sure that your tires are inflated properly, the trailer lights are working. Make sure you got all the life jackets, safety equipment. I just blew up the spare tire too a little bit, make sure it's all in a good shape. And of course the dolly tire, uh, everything is uh, written on it so you know exactly how much PSI you should put into it. So it should work for a long time without any problems. If you got uh, electric motors, make sure that the batteries are charged and that you change uh, the prop or at least check for some kind of a line that's not underneath the prop so it runs nice and freely. And of course the battery should be charged uh, through the winter as well a few times, you know, just to make sure you keep them in a good working order. And if you start your motor through the winter, Make sure you let all the gas out and uh, so you don't have a settlement in the carburetor. Uh, make sure there's uh, good oil in the, in the lake and uh, start it up soon as you can to burn any settlements off. So good maintenance means good fishing. <laughs>